could you please share uh, what are the potential powers of stotras and chants in the hindu tradition why has it been given a high significance in sadhana relating to ishwara we have so many stotrams and uh, for every uh, mood and emotion there are stotrams so uh, you know bhavani ashtakam so na, na jana vidanam na cha dhyana yogam you know gatisvam gatisvam tvameka bhavani so you and, and this is a wonderful stotram of uh, helplessness and surrender like i don't know what danam is i don't know what tantra is i don't know what stotram is i don't know what mantra is i don't know what puja is but bhavani you are my refuge okay so this stotram is a very helpful one especially if one is in that situation where you don't know much but you are seeking to surrender or if one um wants to uh, get some freedom from obstacles right or or success in pursuit so pranam yashirasa devam gauri putram vinayakam bhakta vasam sparenatim ayu kamartha siddhaye for the one kamartha siddhaye for the one who wants whatever kama you have what to do pranamya shirasa deva who to who oh gauri putram so the the son of gauri who is vinayakam and uh, the one who always uh, lives in the heart of the bhakta so just hearing one uh, shloka is enough to touch a person so again those kind of stotras are available or the stotram of uh, declaration of who one is so shivoham shivoham so mano buddhi ahankar chitta ninaham na cha shrotra jithe na cha prana netre na cha vyoma bhume na tejo na vayu chidanand roopa shivoham shivoham chidanand roopa shivoham shivoham so we see the range of stotrams that is available for us uh, to relate to ishwara right and because there are so many kinds of bhaktas there are the bhaktas who are in distress and then there are bhaktas who want uh, you know kama uh, artha and so on then there are the jignyasu bhaktas who want to know ishwara and then there of course are the nyani bhaktas so uh, stotras are very uh, important part of sadhana because what it helps me do is see that jagat is ishwara mm. the world initially for most of us is an obstacle i have to deal with the world or the world is a misery etc etc mm-hmm. then stotrams help me to appreciate that jagat is ishwara and then all manifestation is ishwara then i am able to go into the enquiry so atma darshanam is possible see the vedas are uh, revealed knowledge by ishwara to the rishis so they are bhagavat vachanam that itself makes it very sacred and very powerful of course the sound of any akshara is unique it has its own impact when we look at karma kanda which have which has different chants and rituals mantras just imagine chanting mantras and performing certain rituals can help produce a child can help produce rain ensure success in all ventures become a king ashwamedha yaga go to swarga so these are phenomenally powerful then additionally jnana kanda or the upanishads uh, reveal that you are satyam jnanam anantam brahman that limitless being so veda as a means of knowledge is very very powerful now the mantra that one chants generally uh, is the sound symbol of that deity so just like if i want to um talk to you i will say shri hari now when i say shri hari i am invoking your entire presence you are available to me all your qualities and whatever you wish to uh, maybe give me 
or however you want to relate to me, you are fully available. So a mantra, let's say Om Namah Shivaya, I am inviting Shiva. Right? And then however I choose to relate to Shiva, so that is the blessing of Shiva or any other uh, deity. So mantras are very, very potent and powerful, primarily being Bhagavad Vachanam, you know, words of Bhagavan himself revealed. And so we don't approach it casually at all. Now, from the standpoint of Vedanta, the sadhya or the goal is you, the limitless being. And that limitless being is not a matter of karma. One cannot put limit limited into limited into limited, which will make one limitless. That's not possible. So then the limitless being that is you is a matter of knowing. That is the sadhya. Then what is the sadhana for this sadhya? It is shravanam. So listening to the shastra systematically with a guru over a period of time. This is assuming that Adhikaritvam is there, Viveka Vairagya, Shamadi Shatka Sampati, etc. All that is there. Now, an important aspect of that is Shraddha. So, trust in the Veda. How will the trust come? When you see the benefit of mantras. So, there, therefore, Japa Sadhana becomes very important. Even if one is not initiated into a mantra, we have so, so many stotrams. But then still, for Shravanam, I need to have a mind that is mastered. Yuktaha. Mastered mind I need. Because we all know what we listen <laughs> and the story we make up after that. Or we are selective in our listening. And this is just in a normal conversation. Then in such a subtle subject matter of Vedanta, we are bound to make many mistakes. Thank mm -hmm. you.